that might one glorious day take his place in the Hall of Fame with a legacy that simply reads Tony Boselli, a man, a huge slab of man. If Boselli is half that good, put Canton on speed dial. I'm telling you, this kid, I know they picked DeMarco, but I think he's the only lineman you really need. You take him, a quarterback, nine flankers, unstoppable. Back to you, Chris. <laughs> That would be more than the wing tee. I'll say nine flankers, Baselli, and a quarterback. We're going to work on that formation. We'll be back in just a moment. Dad? Son? It's been a long time, Dad. It's been a long trip, son. How about throwing me a cold one? Just like old times, huh, Dad? Just like the old days. This isn't a Pepsi. I know. I saved nine cents. Unbelievable. Kids saved a lousy nine cents. Uh, can we ask you a few questions about the Dallas game? Yeah, sure. Where do you want me? Wherever you're comfortable. All right, I got two minutes. Yeah, we are uh, back in New York as we are uh, steamrolling toward the end of the uh, fourth round. If you uh, didn't hear the news uh, earlier today, all of us have been saddened. Early this morning, Howard Cosell, legendary broadcaster, uh, passed away uh, at the age of uh, 75 years of age. Tomorrow, we'll have a special outside the lines. Uh, Howard Cosell, his life and times at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 uh, Pacific time. Uh, certainly nobody like Howard Cosell before or since uh, in this business. He's a man that left his mark forever on our business and all of us are saddened and we, we send our, our sympathies out to Howard's family. He passed away this morning, about four o'clock this morning at the age of 75. Uh, let's get you caught up on the last half dozen picks or so of the fourth round. Um, we have had the Ken Brown linebacker from Virginia Tech. He went to the Denver Broncos. So the Broncos now with two selections here in the fourth round. Dante Jones, linebacker from Nebraska, went to the Pittsburgh Steelers, so they continue to go big eight players. Jason Kyle, Seattle didn't have a three, correct? So Seattle going defense. Uh, that's a, a guy that pretty good value here in the fourth round. Linebacker, Arizona State, goes to Seattle, led the Pac-10 in tackles. Tim Hanshaw, 6'4", 280, becomes uh, San Francisco 49ers pick in the fourth round. That's, only, that's their first pick since Stokes uh, in the first round. So Hanshaw is a niner. Rob Zadica, one of the members of that outstanding Nebraska offensive line, he is picked by the New York Giants. And then Alundus Bruce, cornerback from Mississippi, uh, Alundus Bryce, cornerback from Mississippi, uh, goes uh, to the Dallas Cowboys. So uh, let's go, Mel, to Jason Kyle, because here was a name we thought we weren't sure that we might hear yesterday. And I mean in the second round, not the third round. Am I right? Exactly, Chris. This kid's a real difference maker at linebacker. You know, he caused a lot of turnovers in the, in the Pac-10 for Arizona State this past year. Had a great season. He's not huge. Uh, like I said, you look at his size, 235 pounds. A lot of linebackers in the NFL and the inside are about 250 these days. But you watch him here at number 12, and the way he moves in coverage, comes up and delivers a good hit, good form tackler, Jason Kyle. That's why you lead the Pac-10 in tackles, which is a conference that has a lot of good linebackers. Here he comes on the blitz and delivers a heck of a jolt. One thing this kid will do when he arrives on the scene. He knows how to strip the football. That was evident at the Senior Bowl this year when he was all over the field. You see him here uh, coming in on the tackle, but just the guy is all over the field. Good instincts to locate the ball, and when he gets there, Joe, he tackles you, he brings you down. That's the most important thing, uh, besides linebacker size. When you look at his frame, 235, as I watched him on film, 
I get the feeling that he can get a little bit heavier, can get a little bit bigger. So you're not getting just a finished product right now. You're getting somebody who can add maybe 5, 10 pounds of good muscle. Well, Kyle, a very good player, and that's apparently uh, someone that uh, Dallas was looking at, but he was gone by the time the Cowboys came up a couple of slots down. Let's go out to Big D and uh, join Chris Myers. Is that right, Chris, that uh, yes. they were looking at Kyle? Yes, you, you are correct, sir. Kyle was on <laughs> their you. board. What they liked about uh, Kyle, aside from his uh, linebacker play, was a, an excellent special teams player, a deep long snapper, uh, something that they are looking for, a special teams player. Since he wasn't there, as you pointed out a moment ago, cornerback Alundas Bryce from Mississippi, a player who last January tried to break up a fight got caught in the crossfire this was during a fraternity party took a gunshot wound in his chest just missed his heart he has had medical clearance obviously and also is an excellent special teams player cowboys need secondary help he'll play corner remember they lost james washington their starting safety and they expect brock marion to move in there so back to chris Berman now in new york yeah. all right chris uh, so uh, we looked there in the war room the guitar playing stopped for a moment as uh, <laughs> the uh, dallas cowboys uh, selected alundas bryce we are going toward the bottom of the fourth round with great fluidity. We'll be back here in New York in just a moment. <laughs> oh, I know if you really care about somebody, nothing else should matter. But it does. Sometimes getting close to him is all I think about. I expect her to sweat if she's running a marathon, but not when we're close to each other. Well, you just can't get close to a guy if he smells. Get a little closer with Arid Double X, the anti-odor antiperspirant. Arid Double X helps keep you extra, extra dry. I trust Arid. Hey. I could judge this fashion show. Oops, you know. Ladies, you don't. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Chantel is looking exquisite. But can she drink? Ball. Thumbs up, she got hang time. This is what I'm talking about, people. When you've got the great taste of an ice cold Miller Light, life is good. Here comes the rest of it. Can she do the move? She shakes, she fakes, she goes up. She got it. Yes, we can match any color. No problem. Customers don't want to stand around and wait. They can't get the project done waiting. Yes, we can match this color. This is your Brussels sprout green. Faster I can finish here, the sooner he can get out. If they want that color, we do our best to get it. Bowling ball blue. And here's your ball. Protect your home's exterior wood with Bear Plus 10 exterior stain. With an incredible selection of super durable solid and semi-transparent colors, you'll find it at a guaranteed low price every day at the Home Depot. We inspect the porcelain on steel surface for durability. Check the triple burners to heat evenly and the precise angle of the steel bars to eliminate flare-ups. We test every gas valve and gauge for accuracy and even evaluate the swing-up tables for maximum utility. The Weber Gas Barbecue. Of all the testing, examining, and retesting that goes into it, the true test is what comes out of it. If it's Weber, it's great outdoors. All right, we're back as their draft coverage continues here. Uh, the bottom part uh, of the fourth round uh, here in New York. Let's get our, uh, let's go around to our correspondents and start with Chris Mortensen in, uh, at Carolina headquarters and find out what's going on down there. Mort? Well, Chris, you know, the uh, Panthers awoke this morning to mixed reviews over trading the number one pick in Kajana Carter, or at least the rights to Kajana Carter, and then trading down to number five pick in Kerry Collins. You know, there was not a total consensus that Kajana Carter was worth taking at that number one spot. And speaking to a couple of clubs that were considering trading up, they told me he probably won't have the durability of Emmett Smith. He signed a medical waiver to go to Penn State. He missed one whole spring with swelling in his knee. Missed a couple of games, I think, as a sophomore. Averaged only 15 carries as a junior. And, you know, playing on that AstroTurf at Cincinnati, which is considered, you know, one of the worst, if not the worst, turfs in, uh, in the NFL, it's going to be interesting to see if Kajana Carter, in fact, has any problems with a knee, which showed some looseness at the combine where the medical doctors looked at him. Let's go on to Jacksonville. Chris, the Jacksonville Jaguars added a lot of uh, firepower in, through free agency on their defensive line, but they needed depth. Tom Coughlin traded up to get defensive tackle Mike Thompson from Wisconsin, a guy he feels can add sub such depth. Now, the team they traded with, the Cleveland Browns, traded down twice. 
the Crack Browns staff feels that they've unearthed a true sleeper pick, and they feel that they're going to take him with the second pick. In the